Ever wondered how the city of joy, Kolkata, looks from the sky? Imagine a city painted with the vibrant colors of history, culture, and diversity. This is Kolkata, the city we are about to explore. It's a place where traditions blend seamlessly with the modern world, where ancient architecture stands proudly amidst the bustling streets. Kolkata, once the capital of British India, breathes a rich tapestry of history. Its colonial architecture, museums, and libraries tell tales of a glorious past, while its thriving art scene and literary heritage inspire the future. This city is a melting pot of cultures, where every street corner offers a taste of its diverse cuisine, every festival a celebration of its unity in diversity. It's a city that pulsates with life, with an energy that's contagious, an energy you can feel even from the sky. Prepare to be mesmerized as we start our journey from the city's eastern fringe, the Salt Lake City. As we hover over the eastern periphery of Kolkata, we find ourselves amidst the planned satellite city, Salt Lake. This is a testament to the modernity that Kolkata has embraced, a stark contrast to the rest of the city. Salt Lake City, or Bidhanagar as it's officially known, stands out with its symmetrically planned and meticulously maintained infrastructure. The city's modern architecture, a harmonious blend of contemporary and traditional designs, reflects its dynamic spirit. The wide roads, lined with trees, lead to commercial complexes and residential areas, each unique in their own way. But Salt Lake isn't just about architecture and planning. It's also a vibrant IT hub, housing some of the biggest multinational companies and fostering a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship. Here, Traditional Bengali culture coexists with the fast-paced, tech-driven lifestyle, creating a melting pot of experiences. From the crisp lines of Salt Lake City, we now move towards the heart of Kolkata, Park Street. Park Street, the heart of Kolkata, is where the city's pulse truly beats. Imagine a place where the past meets the present, where the melody of life is played by the rhythm of footsteps and the harmony of chatter, where the aroma of culinary delights wafts through the air. That's Park Street for you, a cosmopolitan paradise nestled in the heart of Kolkata. As the sun dips below the horizon, Park Street bursts into life. The street, lined with a plethora of eateries and pubs, is a gastronomical haven. It's a place where food is not just a necessity, but an experience. From the sizzling kebabs of Peter Cat to the delectable pastries of Fleury's, Park Street is a testament to Kolkata's love for food. Each eatery has its own tale to tell, stories steeped in history and flavored with culture. But Park Street isn't just about the food. It's also the hub of Kolkata's nightlife. The street hums with energy as dusk falls, the neon signs of the pubs and clubs illuminating the night. Music, laughter, and the clinking of glasses echo through the street, creating a symphony that defines the city's vibrant nightlife. The street is a canvas painted with colors of joy, where every night is a celebration of life. Among the buzzing eateries and pubs are iconic landmarks that stand as proud reminders of Kolkata's rich history. Fleury's, the legendary tea room, has been serving its patrons since the British era, while Peter Cat, with its iconic red awnings, is a culinary institution in itself. These landmarks aren't just buildings, they're pieces of history that add to the charm and character of Park Street. Park Street is not just a street, it's an experience, a journey into the heart of Kolkata. It's where the city's past and present coexist, where every corner tells a story, where every moment is a celebration. It's a place that encapsulates the spirit of Kolkata, a city that's as diverse as it is vibrant. Leaving the lively aura of Park Street behind, we now head towards the city's lungs, the Maidan. Welcome to the Maidan, the green lungs of Kolkata. A vast stretch of emerald tranquility amidst the urban hustle, Maidan serves as the city's breathing space. Covering an impressive 400 acres, it's an oasis that offers respite to millions. From early morning joggers to evening cricketers, from kite flyers to leisurely strollers, the Maidan is a recreational haven for Kolkata's denizens. It's a place where the city's heart beats in unison with nature, where the city's rhythm slows down and where life takes a breather. But don't let its tranquil demeanor fool you. Maidan is not just a stretch of greenery, but a living testament to the city's history and culture. It's here that iconic structures like the Victoria Memorial stand tall, a glorious reminder of Kolkata's colonial past. 
This grand edifice, with its white marble beauty, is an architectural marvel that attracts history buffs and art lovers from around the globe. A stone's throw away from the Victoria Memorial is another historical gem, Eden Gardens. It's not just a cricket stadium, but a place of pilgrimage for cricket enthusiasts. The electrifying atmosphere and the roar of the crowd here have become synonymous with the city's sporting spirit. So whether you're a history enthusiast, a sports fan, or simply a lover of nature, the Maidan has something to offer everyone. Bidding adieu to the greenery, we now move towards the city's lifeline, the Hooghly River. Behold the mighty Hooghly River, the lifeline of Kolkata. This river, a distributary of the sacred Ganges, is more than just a waterway. It's the pulse of the city, flowing through its heart and nourishing its soul. The Hooghly River is a silent witness to Kolkata's evolution from a colonial trading post to a bustling metropolis. The river has played a pivotal role in the city's trade and transport. It's been a gateway for merchants and explorers, a route for goods and a pathway for ideas. It's been the cradle of commerce, nurturing the city's economy and paving the way for its growth. But the river is not just about business, it's also about life and living. It's about the fisherman who casts his net at the break of dawn, the washerman who beats clothes on the ghats, the pilgrim who dips into its sacred waters, and the poet who finds inspiration in its serene flow. And then there's the iconic Howrah Bridge, spanning the river with its massive steel structure. An architectural marvel, it's not just a bridge, but a symbol of Kolkata. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the spirit of the city. Every day, thousands cross this bridge, connecting the twin cities of Howrah and Kolkata. The Hooghly River and the Howrah Bridge together form a picturesque tableau, a site that's as much a part of Kolkata's identity as its colonial architecture, its literary heritage, and its love for football and fish curry. So as we soak in the sights and sounds of the Hooghly, let's pay tribute to this river. It's not just a river, it's the lifeline of Kolkata, breathing life into the city, day in and day out. From the bustling banks of the Hooghly, we now move to the city's western end, the Botanical Gardens. Welcome to the city's western end, home to the mesmerizing Botanical Gardens, a haven for nature lovers. This sprawling oasis spans across a massive 270 acres. It's a living, breathing testament to the city's commitment to preserving biodiversity. Here, you'll find a vast array of flora and fauna. Every tree, every flower, every creature has a story to tell. From the vibrant orchids to the rare palms, from the chirping birds to the fluttering butterflies, the Botanical Gardens is a symphony of life in its most natural form. The crown jewel of the garden is undoubtedly the iconic Great Banyan Tree. This colossal tree with its myriad of aerial roots is more than 250 years old standing as a historic sentinel in the heart of the garden. It's not just a tree, but a symbol of endurance, of time, of life itself. But the botanical gardens isn't just about the flora and fauna. It's about the tranquil ambiance, the serenity that envelops you as you traverse its winding paths. It's where the hustle and bustle of the city fade into a distant hum, replaced by the soothing whispers of leaves and the melodious songs of birds. As we conclude our journey, we leave you with an unforgettable aerial view of this magnificent city, the city of joy, Kolkata.